shorts on it. So you were wearing the <laughs> shortest dress ever? <laughs> Probably. He goes, bend over. And I was just like, why? And then I did, and I was like, what? Bend over. <laughs> why? <laughs> I'll tell you why. <laughs> A lot of people don't even know they're pregnant until halfway through the first trimester. Right. Like Katie, one of the drunkest she's, days she's ever been was uh, two days before she took a pregnancy test and right. found out she was pregnant. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it's, oh, whoops. <laughs> I mean, what are you right. going to do? Right. And that was an all day. Just I'm drinking, 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 drinking. Right. Oh, I still am, am sick. And, you know, I, I feel weird. Something's not right. Oh, right. peed on a stick and look what happened. Now I got a baby that I just got so drunk. Oops. Oops. Yeah. And they probably were in a hot tub. She was in a hotel. She was on vacation with the girls, right? Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, and the kids seem fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say today. Oh, my goodness. In 20 years, I'll be like, oh, yeah. Remember that <laughs> drunken night when you got in a hot tub? <laughs> yeah. You cooked our baby. <laughs> <laughs> Connie and Curtis on Channel 95.7. It is 6.05. 6.05. The sun's going to come out in like... November 3rd. 40 minutes. We're going to see the sun. 40 minutes. I know. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. How dark was it? Dark. Saturday morning. Dark. When you woke up. So we leave here Friday. It's Halloween. <laughs> yep. And then Saturday morning, it got light at like 1040. Maybe <sighs> maybe 130 in the afternoon. <laughs> the sun finally comes out. And then it went down at 530. And then right there at uh, like 518, it's gone. We had 18 <laughs> minutes of sunshine. <laughs> And then oh. we fall back, and we got a whole day of sun. What a great Best day to fall Best time of the year. Best fallback day ever. It was sunny. From- I've decided that I am taking the fallback weekend off every weekend from here on out you for are. the rest of my radio career. And to do what? Like, did you do nothing fun things? To do nothing. Just a nothing kind of weekend. You know how much I slept this weekend? Oh, no. How much? Plus, many? I got an extra hour of sleep. I slept so much. Okay. It was Fabulous. So Friday night, you had a, a group of people over to hand out trick or treat. I was in bed by ten thirty. Okay. Saturday. In bed by eight thirty. Uh, Sunday. In bed by seven thirty. Okay. <laughs> Now, it was awesome. Uh, uh, were you able to sleep then? Like, did you wake yep. up at one a.m. Nope. this morning? No. Nope. You woke up at your alarm. Oh yep. my goodness! I know. Why are you so Isn't tired? That crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I think this year exhausted me. Okay, so you're you're almost through the year though. Only two more months. I know, and I just caught up on sleep. And you finally made yeah, it from your so. summer because you had I'm a busy really summer. Sure. I know. So, <sighs> so I don't know, but it was fabulous. Okay. I got a lot of sleep time. I wow. I was trying to think. So if you went to bed at eight thirty on Saturday night, yes. What time did you wake up Sunday morning? Well, I woke up at 6.30, and then I went back to bed. Okay, so that's 10 hours. I was probably up for an hour, and then I went back to bed and woke up at 9.45. Okay, so 10 hours <laughs> minus one hour plus three hours. You slept <laughs> like- 12 hours. You slept 12 hours. I know. <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? I'm not sure I slept 12 hours all weekend. Oh. Like, you owe me some sleep. No. I don't, I'm keeping my sleep. You don't get any of my sleep. I don't feel good about that. It was great. Amanda, how much uh, sleep did you get? Did you get a 12-hour block of sleep? No, I definitely woke up um, Saturday into Sunday morning at, like, 2.30 in the morning. Okay. Watched uh-huh. TV for, like, an hour and a half. Okay. Went back to bed. And then got up at like 8.30. Was that the new 2.30 or the old 2.30? That would be the the new 2.30, I suppose. Uh, okay. So mm-hmm. you had changed all your clocks. I scared the crap out of Elizabeth. She has a, uh, a loft bed. Mm-hmm. And she has a clock up in her bed so she can see it uh, when she wakes up. Right. So I had to climb into her bed and change the clock. And she jerked awake. What are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm changing your clock. Why? Because she doesn't know about right. clock changing. Mm-hmm. I said, well, because it's uh, we're falling back, so we're gaining an hour tonight. So then she looked at it and said, so it's only 1030? And I said, no, it's 1130, <laughs> but it's going to be 1030 when you wake up. Right. Like, that's what time it's going to be. Okay, so I should go to bed. I'm like, yes, go uh-huh. back to bed. You don't get to get out of bed. And then Haley had already changed her clock. Yeah, uh, she she went upstairs at like 6 p.m. and changed her clock so that she could trick us into getting an extra hour of staying up. <laughs> I'm like, well, we know what time it is. Did you all go into her room to check the clock to see? No, I I went in uh, with her. Uh, I was talking to her and I noticed that her clock was an hour behind. And I said, did you change your clock already? It's like, yeah, that way I don't have to go to bed. I said. Today, we we live on today's time. Right. And we don't switch until tomorrow. Right. Like, you don't just fall back whenever you want. Yeah. We're not Arizona. But then it's getting dark so early now. Isn't that wonderful? Like one in the afternoon. It'll How be dark today. wonderful is it? You are a weird little man. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not a man. No. But, but you're just a, you, I mean, you I like, love it. You like the dark afternoons. I do. 
You like the uh, sleeping for 27 hours on a weekend. Do. It seems like I do. That is your thing. I know. Okay. How many trick-or-treaters did you get? 13. No way. 13. And no. last year, they said that uh, we had about 100. In the rain, there were 100? Last year, and there in, were 100. And in no rain, there were 13. 13. That was it. Do you think because you guys were making so much noise, laughing, no. and, and having fun at no. your fire that nobody you scared them all away? No. 13 in the 13. neighborhood? 13. Isn't that crazy? That is so low. I know. How many did you have? Like hundreds? I would Hundreds? Imagine. You weren't even there. I was there. I ended up not trick or treating. Why? Uh, Charlotte wanted to go with her mom. So that was cool. Oh, does just, that hurt your feelings? It did not. I, I got to just stay right there by the fireball. So uh, that was good. Uh, I just, <laughs> by the fireball and the toilet. Exactly. Two things you love. I, I couldn't pee. They, I wall to wall from 5 30 until you about 8 15. I could not pee. And I had the bottle of Fireball right there by me. And I was trying to do like a shot a couple minutes thing. And that <laughs> was not working. And then I was just kind of laying on the stairs, uh, like taking rests in between because I was, I was a little inebriated. Oh. Like it got crazy. One time, <laughs> a, a kid knocks on the door and uh, I had the candy to the right of the door. Yeah. So I, I count how many there are. Mm-hmm. I was like six. So then I reach over and I disappear from view. But I kind of stumble too because it's been it's been a night. And he goes, "What happened to that guy?" And I'm like, "That guy's getting you candy." <laughs> so I come back with a big uh, handful. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Uh-huh. Yeah. So Katie got back at like 8:30 and says, "How did you get so drunk?" I'm like, "I don't know. I'm just, just standing drink, here by myself drinking Fireball." Yeah. Welcome to the party. Yeah. We didn't have our first trick or treat. Trick or treating started at six. We did not have our first trick or treater till 6:40. Oh. 6.40. What, what, well, so you had 13, so you probably, like, saw some awesome costumes then. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, like, cute what, costumes. Did you, of the 13, were there 10 Elsas? No, I don't think I saw an Elsa. No Elsas? No. Okay, we had Elsas, we had uh, Olaf, <sighs> we had yeah. Scary, we had Sexy, Fun, mm-hmm. a couple of Sexy Moms I was giving through. everybody handfuls, and I still have a bucket of candy left. You didn't eat it all? No. Oh, because you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you I slept? I was hibernating this weekend. <laughs> you slept to avoid eating all of the candy. Oh, I know how that is. I was going to bring it in, and you then I have. forgot. Oh. <clears throat> I tricked the uh, neighborhood kids then on uh, Sunday into cleaning up all my Halloween decorations, mm-hmm. and I was bribing them with Halloween candy uh-huh. that I had handed out as a trick-or-treater. So uh, they're just getting the same candy that I handed out. Right. They don't care. I'm like, hey, here, have an old Henry. Oh, thank <laughs> Here you go, have some Skittles. Thank you. So they're just totally high on like sugar, cleaning my yard up. Oh. It was an amazing, amazing day yesterday. Did you get any uh, Christmas decorations up? Uh, no, but I decided, and you guys can tell me if this is weird. Okay. Okay. I want uh, four, I have a little bush area in front of my house. Not yeah. like in Australia, but like uh, bushes, you know. Really? So Thank I want to get, uh, go to like Cabela's or Meyer. I want to get a turkey decoy. And I'm going to put the turkey decoy in the bushes so it looks like there's a real turkey. What do you think of that? I think that's hilarious. What do you think of that? I like that idea. Katie hates that idea. She does. Banned me. Banned me from going to Cabela's yesterday. Oh, no. I think it's super funny. But they're sold out. You have to get them online. They're sold out. Because it's turkey season. Oh, right. So you have to order it. It'll be two to three days. I think it's awesome. Yeah, I think it's funny. 30 bucks. You get yourself a little turkey decoy. Just go to Michael's today and get all the stuff and make one. Make my own (laughs) turkey decoy. It would be a hot mess, but it would be so fun. It'd That'd be, be even funnier than the actual turkey. Neighbors decoy. would be like, what is that? I'd be like, That's a turkey that I've made with these two hands. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, you should do that. That would be funnier. What I need is a giant pine cone because there is an awesome one uh, that I was going to buy. And okay. Katie did like it. It's a pine cone and then it has feathers coming out of it. Yeah. Uh, and she's like, well, that we could put in because that's fall and festive. Right. 13 inches. What's 13? It's tiny. It's a little guy. Uh, <laughs> like the whole thing, because it's just a regular size. And you pine want cone. like a I normal want a, size turkey. I, I want a three foot by four foot little area with a turkey sitting there. <sighs> happy, happy Thanksgiving. That's Katie funny. thinks somebody would shoot it or steal it. Shoot it or steal it. In, yeah, they probably. You would. never know, right? They probably would. You just take it. Or you take out. Uh, you see it in the middle of the night. You're scared to death. Pull out the old bow. 
little arrow right into the head. Who walks around decoy. with a bow in the middle of the night <laughs> Man, my in your front yard? Uh, that's what my neighborhood they is all about. They do not. Two or three of them. <laughs> Two or three I, of them. I had a group go hunting uh, in the middle of the day yesterday. In your subdivision? Yeah, well, because there were no lions playing. So then they just uh, all packed up. They were walking with all their stuff, and they put it in a truck and drove away. Right. But if they had seen a turkey, a little target practice. They're going to shoot towards a turkey you towards know. your house. Hey. Sitting by your front porch. If it's in the bushes, though. Like, They're still not going to. It would be pretty safe. Bad hunter safety at that point. You hear about stories like that all the time, though, of arrows. You do, that but go those happen in like England. Yeah, <laughs> you know they say Grand Rapids is the England of here. <laughs> we have that girl who talks like she's from England uh, every day. Yeah, right? well, that is a true story. That's we do have that. So when Amanda speaks, we think England. Pip pip, tally ho. Pip pip, tally ho. See, I want you to make a turkey today. Like a turkey noise. No. Oh, you want me to craft a turkey? Yes, that's hilarious. <laughs> so not Curtis. like cook a turkey. No. You want me to craft a turkey? Mm-hmm. Out of what? What would the base be? I don't know. Piece it together for Floral me. Floral foam. Yeah, I was gonna say you could buy one of those foam things. Yeah, but then that's white. I don't want a white turkey. Well, you paint it. I'm painting foam. Or you could have an albino turkey. But yeah, just paint it. Okay. Oh, and then you stick on feathers in it. Okay. How do they sell just bags of feathers? I'm sure mm-hmm. you can find them. So mm-hmm. I get foam. Is that going to hold up to the Michigan winter? Who knows? I need it to. You should probably shellac it. Okay. And then stick feathers in it. Well, how would I get the feathers into the shellac? <laughs> it's so hard though. It hardens like a shell. Like yeah, a but it doesn't matter. You'll be able to pop a hole in it. I okay. So You'd I'm be pop- okay. I shellac the white. Sphere, yeah, of foam. Sphere, yes. And then, uh, so it looks like I'm doing like a a planet type job, like a solar system. I put feathers in it, and then you'd I, be able to figure it out. Just all you need to do I is go to Michaels to, and walk around. I'd be able to figure it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Make it your own turkey. I just make it my own. <laughs> okay, uh, I could make it my own then, uh-huh. I guess. Oh, and our sister station started doing Christmas music. I know. I oh, love it. A couple of my neighbors were so. Excited as was I because I mean it is Christmas. I had a, a Facebook friend who loves Christmas so much that he stayed up. You know how the uh, cable companies have the Sound of the Season channel, right? Uh, so he lives in California, mm-hmm. where it is never really uh, Christmassy because of the weather. Right. So he's in California. He stayed up all night waiting for the Halloween music to change to Christmas music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And it did not change. Aww. So then he posts, so now I'm sitting here drunk in a Santa hat, <laughs> and it still is Halloween music. I have to go to bed. Aww. That was at uh, 3 our time. So what is that their time? That's midnight. Mm-hmm. He was hoping for a midnight flip. and it didn't, Or that's 11 his time. Whatever. He should have stayed up later. Yeah. And then um, on Saturday, Christmas commercials. What? On television. I saw at least five of them. You I stopped did? counting at five. Five of them. I didn't see any. What What were they selling? Um, oh, I did see the one. PetSmart Walmart, had one. Walmart has one. Walmart had one. Um, I can't remember the other ones. I definitely, but yeah. I definitely saw the Walmart one. I was like, yes! It's two months. November 1st. Two months till Christmas. We're on our way. Love it. Let's roll. We got Thanksgiving. That's mm-hmm. just a big day of eating. Right. And then a day of gift giving. That's pretty excited And about receiving. It. Uh-huh. And my turkey, I could maybe make my turkey, uh, turn it into a cooked turkey. I should buy two things of foam. So on things, up until Thanksgiving. So like from today when I make it until Thanksgiving Eve, mm-hmm. it's a turkey in the yard. And then Thanksgiving Day, it's a turkey on a platter. Beautiful. That's brilliant. Are you kidding That's me? That's a brilliant idea. A turkey on a platter. That is a brilliant so idea. So maybe foam pilgrims hanging out. Yeah. Guy with a musket. Yeah. This is, okay, this is my job Good plan. Today. This is what I'm doing today. November 3rd. Craft day. Craft day. All I'm right. in. All right, 57 in sunshine today. We were supposed to get some rain on the way tomorrow. This whole week, temperatures are supposed to be in the 50s and nice. Oh, well, wait until later on in the week. Oh, uh, what? What? Three days of nice. <laughs> and then 44 and rain. Oh. And, uh, Friday is supposed to be 41. Sunday is supposed to be 38 is the high. What? I know. Like the high? Apparently, we no longer get warm weekends in West Michigan. It's not even 38 now. No, it's 47. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 38 on Sunday. All right, we're at 619 now. Connie and Megan Trainer on the new channel 957. It is 630 with Connie and Curtis. 47 degrees now, 57 in sunshine today. And he did not die. Spoiler. 
Nick Ooh. Walenda. Now, I know you went to bed at 7.30 last night, so you missed the whole tightrope walk. I did. Uh, but he made it uh, between the two buildings mm-hmm. in Chicago. He was blindfolded, right? Blindfolded. What time did he do it? Um, I don't know. I wasn't watching either. Okay, so I, I wonder football. if it was dark? Oh, it was dark. Oh, yeah, it, okay. it was night. It was nighttime. About 65,000 people were watching him. It was on TV last night. It was uh-huh. a primetime event. Anybody see it? I did not see it either. No, none of us saw it. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> none you, of us care enough you, to see it. You apparently. can see it. Well, because it's boring. I mean, it's not like it's a real stunt. Mm-hmm. You know, when you go to the circus and they're doing stunts and you're like, wow. Like, mm-hmm. I was just at the circus. They were doing that... Uh, they had a big like hamster wheel. Yep. And they're running inside. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they're running outside. Yeah. <laughs> so they're running outside of this wheel and they're almost dying every time. Right. They are falling. You're watching them fall mm-hmm. ten feet mm-hmm. and then landing on the wheel again. Mm-hmm. But seriously, falling ten feet is a big fall. Like right. that's something and that's death defying. That's something I like to watch. Uh-huh. This this is a guy How high up was he? He was super high. He was between um it was between skyscrapers. Like he was way, okay. way high but up. He could have been air. on the first floor between skyscrapers. Well, and that's what they say about tightrope walking, which you and I could never do it. No. So like we're not here to say that it's easy. But they say if you can walk on a uh, a one foot tightrope, yep. you can walk on a bazillion foot tightrope. Okay. It's yeah. just focus. Right. If, if you can focus and do it, you can do it on no matter what. Mm-hmm. So he I mean, I kind of guess lost favor with him when we just want him to die. That's what we want to see. I don't want him to die. And then he says, no, I don't want to have the safety nets. And then they're right. like, oh, well, then you can't do it in New York. He's like, well, I'll do it in Chicago then. It's like, okay. Mm-hmm. But I want him, I think I want him to fall. And it's sad. You I, do? I think that Because you want to see the hot mess? I don't, I don't know. I want there to be some drama. Some drama, some idea in mm-hmm. my head that he could fall. Like the smallest little, like right now I think it's so just safe that he's never going to fall and he's never going to be okay. I don't want him to fall, but I want him to well, be Well, I don't believe they're going to show that anyway. They would cut away. They would cut away. They would use a, some sort of a delay. They would have to cut away. Yes. Right? They're not going to show some guy falling no. 300 feet. So you'll the, never see it. Right. Even if it happened. But I don't, well... You would see somebody from down below would have it, but yeah, probably so yeah. Eventually, you would see it. I yeah. don't want to. Yeah, I don't have a death wish for the guy. Right. I just want there to be some sort of drama, mm-hmm. some sort of like uh, a wobble, a, a bit of daredevilness. Yeah. Not even a wobble, because that is so fake too. I, I mean, you can right. add a wobble into it. Right. But I, just, yeah, I want something. <laughs> I, I want there to be a little bit of. Uh, like some idea that he could fall, mm-hmm. and I don't think that that's okay. Because, like you said, they would never show that on TV. Yeah, they would never that kind let of it. stuff does not intrigue me. They wouldn't let him go. No, but if there was like never. a daredevil stunt, we should set up some. some we should sort not of do that. High wire here. Were you sad that there was no football this weekend? There was, there was t- like no football. What? Packers didn't play. Packers Lions did. didn't play. Michigan State didn't play. Oh, like the local teams. Like my teams. Okay. No, I just uh, I just adopt <laughs> new teams. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just watching all. Who were you uh, watching? Were you watching Arizona last night? Man, who I, else was doing? What the Patriots? Did they finally win? Uh, Patriots won huge <clears throat> over the uh, over the Broncos. Broncos uh, yeah. San Diego got smoked by Miami during the day. Uh, the uh, Cowboys yeah. lost. No football. They took us to the Washington Minnesota game where we got to see that at the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saturday, uh, there was like uh, football on from uh, one twelve thirty with the uh, uh, Army. Air Force game, that one was on early even. Yeah. We didn't even have to wait. Mm-hmm. Like 11.30, I think that one started. Yeah, like I said, no so, football. So just games you didn't care about. Right. <laughs> yeah, but there were plenty. I, no, I did not have <clears throat> a football withdrawal at all. I had. I watched zero football this weekend. Really? Since football season has started, this is the first weekend that I have watched zero football. And you slept like 37 <laughs> hours. <laughs> you supplemented your, your football with yeah. your sleeping. It was a great weekend. Now, was Dan still watching football? Yes. Okay. So well, he did... Yeah, he did Saturday afternoon, and then he did yes last night and yesterday afternoon. Okay, so he got some yeah. games, and he got. Oh, his are fix. you kidding me? Okay. Of course. Yeah, on Saturday, so we had fallen back, and uh, that first game, the Army Air Force, mm-hmm. was on earlier than games normally are. Right. So I'm watching, and Katie is like, "Football's on already." Uh, yeah, yeah, football's. So then the third game that I was watching later in the day, mm-hmm. she said. Are we going to do anything today? <laughs> well, I'm doing tons of stuff. I was cleaning the house, and I was getting everything in between, like plays. Mm-hmm. I made a lunch and dinner. The kids were having a great time playing. She just didn't think of it as anything being done. Right. She kind of had a like a you weekend. 
just kind of relaxing, in and out of consciousness, you know, uh, just, uh, uh, just kind of resting. Does she like it. those kind of weekends? Uh, she seemed to. Yeah, I love it. But then she's like harping on us to do stuff, but we're the one, we are doing stuff. She's the one who's not doing anything, uh-huh. but she's like, we got to do this and this and this. I'm like, we're doing all kinds of stuff around here. Just because you were in and out of a little daze doesn't mean that's not happening. The only time I think that I got in my car this weekend <laughs> was to go see Nightcrawler. Oh. Yeah. Number one movie in the land. Yeah, it was good. Super scary? Not scary at all. Did it make you want to stay up late at night and chase crime scenes? No. Did it no! Make- scratch that. A little bit. It did. A I knew it bit. would. It did a little bit. When you said you were going to go see yeah. Nightcrawler, <laughs> I knew. That's where I lived, too. I, I knew that you would come in and say, you know what? I could get a camera and I could do that kind of stuff. You think I would quit? Does he die? Spoiler. No. Okay, so yeah, then it's perfect. No, no, you wouldn't quit. You'd have a double life. I thought it was going to be kind of like a thriller. And it was not? Mm. The trailer made it look very much like a thriller. Right, and I was listening to it as you were watching it on Friday, yeah. and so I thought that it was going to be a little bit more of a thriller than it was. It was not a thriller. Oh. I don't know what I would really categorize Was that there movie suspense? In. Not really. <laughs> oh, no. No, it was... It, it was a good movie, but you'd have to see it to understand. It was like watching Nick Willenda with no threat of him falling. It was just like watching a, like a, a six-month period in someone's life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, kinda, it's hard to explain. So it's like Dallas Buyers Club without the AIDS. I don't know. I didn't see that. <laughs> but that's the same kind of thing where is he it? just is living and we see his life. And, yeah. Then yes. Huh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Ah. Interesting. Now, do you think I would was find it... it to be suspenseful and horrific, though? No. Where, like, uh, I, we both read Fifty Shades of Grey, right. and you were like, oh, that's so hot. And I'm like, no, it's not hot at all, <laughs> uh, because that's, more like, my thing. And then this, you're like, that's yours. You live in this world. That's my wheelhouse, So if yeah. I went to see this movie, would I be like, oh, I no. don't know. I wouldn't. No. Okay. I would be shocked if you were like, wow, I was on the edge of my seat. It was a thriller. <laughs> no, it was, no. There's no thrills. mm Okay. It was good, don't get me wrong, so you don't think but that, I just felt like I was peering into somebody's life. You like, don't think the oh. bazillion of people who went to see it this weekend, though, are disappointed? No. They still saw a good film. Yeah. This is number one. Yeah. I mean, but do you feel duped? Did you feel duped? A little bit. You felt duped. Just because, and I had, hadn't even seen any commercials for it, but I heard the trailer, and it made okay. it sound very like, dun dun yeah. dun dun there was no doom doom. Well, that's the trailer's job. <laughs> there was none of that. So the trailer did its job. It, it did got, do its it job. It got you in. It got me in. To go see it. And yeah. then, now did you go with anyone? Yeah, Dan. What did Dan think? He liked it. Okay. I think he also thought it was like six months in the life of Joe Schmo. Uh, okay. Yeah. So just a a, a weird movie then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a little interesting. I don't know. It just wasn't what I expected, but it was good. Just watching this guy for six months chase uh, crime scenes. <laughs> yeah. And I guess you watched him get a little sketchier, but that's not thrilling to me. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Didn't he almost good. die? No. The trailer made it look like he almost more died. fun. No. Yeah, the trailer definitely made it look like he almost died. The trailer lied. Spoiler. I'm here to tell you. Okay. Well, now it's going to have a huge drop off at the box office in Grand Rapids. <laughs> well, Connie no, said it's not a thriller. No, it's good. It just wasn't what I expected. What's the last, before that, what's the last good movie? That I saw you Gone saw? Girl. That was good. Okay. So it, it, are they on the same level? No. Okay. Uh-uh. Gone Girl is way better. I would say yes. Way better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How does that end again? Spoiler. <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> who, who, uh, who killed her? Spoiler. What? Like, what happened to her? Hmm? Spoiler. Who? Hello. <laughs> who are you talking about? Talking about uh, the girl, gone girl, the yeah. one who's gone. Oh, I can't tell you that. Okay, you it's don't It's still know. too new. Did you fall asleep? No. <laughs> <laughs> you missed half the movie. I wish I would have fallen asleep. <laughs> Wake up. Wait. Superhero learns to fly. The script on the new channel, 95.7. It is 6.47, Monday morning, 47 degrees, 57 in sunshine today. You know, I don't tell you this enough, uh, Connie, but you have such an impact, I think, not only on, uh, like, my life, but everyone's life Okay. Uh, in and around the area. Here comes some mockery. It's not mockery. Yes, it uh, is. A new study just came out, <laughs> and I, I, I can only assume that this is because you... In 2013, mm-hmm. lived in Michigan. Okay. And not. Is it about shoes? Not Wisconsin. 
Okay. okay. So you lived in Wisconsin uh, in 2012, but not in 2013. A new right. uh, list came out. Mm-hmm. The highest shoes that people <laughs> buy. Now you, what what would you say the average height of a heel is and what are your shoes? Four inches. Four inches. Yeah. Okay. That, I will tell you right now, is double the national average of height of a, a shoe heel. Like the boots that I have on today, they're not four inches, and I feel like I'm wearing tennis shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's probably about three inches that you have yeah. there. Still it higher very short. than the national average. Yeah. Now, this uh, this guilt store went ahead and cataloged the height of heels okay. purchased in every state. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and it's on average. So the highest is Puerto Rico, 2.87 inches. Really? Like That's pretty high. That's three inches. So that, that's higher than yours. Now, that's the average that are bought all over. So there's right. like six-inch heels and there's mm-hmm. zero-inch heels. Uh, I bring up Michigan and Wisconsin because uh, Michigan is between, it's like two and a quarter, about, I would say, Mm -hmm. like two and a quarter inches, and Wisconsin fell in your absence (laughs) to two inches, a whole quarter inch. Now, you live in the four-inch zone. I do. Right? I love heels. It's your thing. Mm -hmm. Now, Katie, my wife, she does not really wear heels occasionally. Right. But she's tall. So then she's like, oh, I don't like having the heels because then she's so much taller than everything. Mm -hmm. So if like we're dressing up, she'll wear heels. But on her day-to-day, no. It's funny because one of our coworkers was um, walking behind me last week. And he goes, oh, my God, look at those heels. He goes, if my wife wore heels like that, I would just sit around the house staring at her shoes all day long. <laughs> and I'm like. A little fetish. What? What? And he goes, oh, yeah, she just wears mom shoes. And I was thinking about it. I'm like, what are mom shoes? Right. What are mom shoes? Crocs? Crocs, maybe. Are those mom shoes? Uh, just some slides, maybe, uh, would work. I don't know. Like some, I mean, I'm not a mom. Why are you Reeboks? laughing, Nick? I'm not a mom, so I don't know. What are mom shoes? And when, once you become a mom, I mean, I get it. You're carrying things. You're carrying shoes, kid. Yeah. You don't want to be teetering or whatever. I don't teeter in heels, but why are you laughing? Well, Gina's mom has her red sneaker shoes, but she has Crocs not only for you, but for everyone. She has like 20 pairs of Crocs around her house. House Crocs. So house you Crocs. wear them when you get there? Yep. You take your shoes? She lives out in the country, so you yeah. just go walking with her sh- Crocs. Now that I That's like. That's brilliant. So you buy, you go to the uh, Ben and Meyer, and you get five hundred Crocs for like thirty bucks. Yeah, that's brilliant. And then you just say, "Hey, throw some Crocs on." Super smart, actually. Katie, Super smart, yeah. but funny when Katie, you just see a whole rainbow funny. of Crocs. Yes. Oh, so it's not all just one color. No, they're all types of colors, <laughs> and all types sizes. of sizes. Awesome. Yeah, that's really smart. If you don't want people walking around your house in shoes. You should do that for your house. <laughs> you, you should, should not. You up your house. No, I'm not one of those people. Here's the reason why I don't ask people to take their shoes off. Okay. Because I love shoes so much, they complete my outfit. I don't expect anybody to walk into my house and take their shoes off. I don't care. Okay. You'd rather have muddy don't carpet. Don't care. Don't care. Because you want me to look my best don't with care. my outfit. Don't care. Because I put it together. Yep. Don't okay. care. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yep. And they wipe their feet. And, if they, and a lot of people just take them off anyway. Okay. But I have never once in my life said, will you please take your shoes take off? Take your shoes off. Nope. Because you know it completes the outfit. Yeah. So if you come to my house and I make you, you will feel no, I less take them dressed. Off. No, I take them off. Yeah, I will. But okay. I will take them off. Do you wear fancy socks just to, in case? No. Like, I'm a sandal guy. So, But if I go to somebody's house where I know they want you to take your shoes off, I will put slippers in my car. You'll have your little slippers. Yeah, so I'm not walking around and like, you, you know, whatever. You should always have slippers in I your car. I should always have slippers in my you car. You can wear them here at work. <laughs> you can wear them all the places. I used to keep slippers here. I don't know if they're still here or not. <sighs> We'll find them today. I don't know. We will find them. Katie uh, is a mom. She definitely has in-the-house Crocs yeah. that she wears. That's what she wears in the house mm-hmm. all the time It's just her Crocs. She doesn't like uh, her feet get cold. Right. So she doesn't like having no shoes on. Right. Like, I'm barefoot. As soon as I get home, it's like uh, you and your bra. Mm-hmm. Like, my shoes are off, and I just walk around no shoes on. Right. But she has her Crocs all the time, but she doesn't wear them. They're indoor only. Mm-hmm. She won't even take them out to, like, get the mail. She won't. Because yeah. they're indoor. Yeah. She doesn't want them Dan on the Dan has carpet. flip-flops that are like that, too. He's got indoor flip-flops. Yeah, he switches them out when he goes outside. So those are mom's shoes, yeah. I would say. Okay. So, yeah, but just staring at someone's shoes for the whole day, that's a little weird. <laughs> and even saying oh, that. Oh, you mean our coworker yeah, saying that? even like saying that to somebody. I mean, that's, that's a weird thing to say. That's like I if, don't know. if you had a crock top or a, a, what, what, crop, a crock pot. A, a crop <laughs> top. Uh, uh-huh. And I said, man, if my wife wore that, I would just stare at her boobs all day. It's the same kind of thing. Hmm. Right? Like, why is it okay for him to say that about, I would stare at your shoes all day? 
I mean, I don't. I didn't find anything wrong with that. Seems a little dirty. I mean, that's something that Amanda, we know, would be right away writing in her journal about uh, today. I was uh, sexually harassed by Carl. Yeah, so I would put that in my journal. Because of shoes or because of the crop top? If my wife had these shoes, I would stare at them all day. I feel yeah. like that's a uh, that's crossing a bit of a line. Oh, yeah. Not with me, it's not. Because you like them. That's why you wear them. You want people to look. It's like I love shoes. It's like They're why, my favorite thing on earth. Why Courtney Stodden wears the uh, crop tops, because she wants people to look. It's the same kind of thing. Take a look at Oh, this. I don't care what you think about my shoes. No. no. <laughs> I don't care what anybody thinks. I like them. Right. And I am not offended when somebody notices that and they like them as well. That and doesn't they, offend me. They would stare at them I all think day. you have great taste. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly you what I think. You have noticed how awesome I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Connie and Curtis. Connie 